Hey everyone, welcome back to Inspiro. Today is a super exciting video because I'm partnering with Everlane to share some of my top picks with you. A lot of these are my favorite everyday basics and they all have some sustainability behind them. So I'm very excited to talk through all of them. I know that as we go into the holiday season, a lot of shopping happens too. So I wanna film this video a bit earlier for everyone who's considering their holiday gifts for their loved ones and for their friends. I wanna mention before we get into the items that I'll leave all of my sizing down below too. I found that when and I was picking out a lot of these items. I spent a ton of time watching review videos and reading their reviews just because Everlane doesn't have a lot of physical stores. So I want this to be a helpful video in terms of fit. I find that when you're trying to build a really intentional and conscious wardrobe, the fit of your clothing is so important. The first item I want to talk about is the sweater I'm wearing right now. I absolutely fell in love with this sweater. This is their oversized alpaca crew. I went for a medium in this one and I think it gave me the perfect fit. I would say size up one or two sizes if you want something more relaxed. With this one, you get a bit of a longer cuff, which I think gives such an elevated look. So you're not actually having really bunchy sleeves. You end up getting like a really beautiful kind of like bell sleeve effect. You guys know I love alpacas and alpaca fiber because it is the most sustainable wool fiber especially when you compare it to cashmere and to sheep's wool. Alpacas themselves are more sustainable because they graze without destroying root systems and their feet are physically more padded so they're more gentle on the terrain so they don't actually ruin the environment that they live in. They actually have to be ethically shorn or like sheared once a year in order to survive the heat in the summers. So the fiber that you're getting is from alpacas that are ethically treated. Alpaca fiber itself is softer and warmer than sheep's wool too. That's why I'm so obsessed with this. I want to talk through the process of finding my size in the 90s cheeky, which from reviews has been all over the place in terms of sizing down and like figuring out your body type. These are known to have the best fit for like that small waist big bum ratio, which is why I love them. I ended up going with a size 28 in the darkest wash. I think that this just pairs so much better in the fall and winter because it is a darker blue instead of going for like the light wash or the medium wash. So the 28s fit so beautifully. I filmed a clip of trying them on right out of the box, so I'll include all of that footage here. I initially went with a size 27 thinking that the waist would be like perfect on me, but I ended up not being able to button them. I thought that with the 27s that if I like moved around a lot of them to stretch out the thighs and the bum area, I could get them to button. I thought that that is just not the way that you should go with sizing. So I ended up going with the 28, which does fit really nicely out of the box. Um, the thighs and the bum were a little bit tight, but even with about half an hour to an hour of wear so far and just me sitting, those areas have loosened a bit. I don't get a really big waist gap with these either, which is great. These are the ankle length. I'm about 5'4", and these are still pretty long for ankle length. So I will typically roll them, or with these I might end up hemming them for like that raw cropped hem. And what's amazing about these is the denim factory that they're made in, which is in Vietnam, my home country, represent. So denim is made out of cotton, one of the most intensive um, fibers needed in the production process in terms of like the water and like the chemicals used. So what's amazing about how this denim and how Everlane denim is made is that this factory is not only LEED certified, but it, it is this closed loop production process that reuses 98% of the water. So this cuts down emissions and it cuts down the water waste. Um, I think the only water that's wasted is like 2% based on evaporation. I thought that that was so innovative because if you can cut down on the water, which is like the biggest thing with cotton is the water that it requires it's like 1500 gallons or something for one piece it just makes the denim so much more sustainable compared to the other alternatives out there so i thought that was really cool Next is the Everlane Re Cotton Tee. This is 100% recycled cotton and it also goes by their tiny tee. So reading reviews, I sized up to a medium, but I realized that I should have sized up to a large or extra large because it does fit really, I'd say, small on the body. Um, I really do like how this ended up fitting because of the way that it is really nice where my chest is. I would say that it doesn't show a lot of like that uh, chicken wing fat in the like armpit area. The only thing with this is that because of the style of the shoulder and the arm, 
it is more of like that cropped angle so when you have a wider arm and shoulder area here like me like the tricep here is really wide i feel a little bit uncomfortable and that's the only reason i would have sized up more absolutely love that this is recycled cotton i've been reading a lot about recycled cotton versus organic cotton the only difference between cotton and organic cotton is that there isn't a lot of like GMOs used in the seed and then the chemicals that are keeping it like alive. But then in recycled cotton, what you're doing is using like either the pre or post consumer fiber and remaking it into a another t-shirt or another like item. So in that process, it actually saves a lot of the emissions and a lot of the water that would have gone into making like a organic cotton or normal cotton t-shirt. So I definitely think that recycled cotton is a really good sustainable alternative to like normal cotton or organic cotton t-shirts. So this is the Redown sleeping bag puffer in ochre. I got this in a size small and it is one of my absolute obsessions right now. I can't even speak. I think this is one of the best options out there for a more sustainable like outerwear piece if you live in a very cold climate. Um, I've been wearing this a lot to test how it will withstand a Canadian winter so I'll get into that in a little bit. I bought this in a size small and I think that gives me enough room to layer a lot of like heavy thick sweaters under. I absolutely love this because it is made out of 100% recycled polyester on the outside. Down on the inside is made out of 100% recycled down and feather um, and you don't see that often with like puffers like this. A lot of people have been asking me if this is good enough for the real cold, intense, like Canadian winter snowstorms. To be real, I think the warmth of this is really good where I'm personally going to layer up a lot in the winters because I value like the recycled content and the recycled materials in this. And this is my first winter coat, so I've survived really like bad Canadian winters just by layering a lot of wool. But if you are comparing this to like a North Face puffer or a super puff, I would say for like a really intense Canadian winter that this you'd have to layer a lot with. But if you are somewhere where the winters don't get to like negative 27, you should be okay. <laughs> This is their re-cashmere stroop waffle turtleneck. This is made out of 60% recycled cashmere and then I think it has a 40% blend of merino wool. The reason that a lot of their recycled materials are blended with new materials is because when you're recycling and upcycling fiber, it does affect the like strength and how it wears. So I think that's why they have to balance it with some new. I think that using recycled fiber is so much better because you are preventing things from going to the landfill and it also is a bit less intensive in the process behind the production so less energy, less water waste, etc. I've been looking for a white pointed leather boot for a really long time and you know that shoe options are really hard for me to find at like the thrift and just in like in terms of like the sustainability of the shoe industry. So what I love about these is that it's made in this ethical factory in Italy that's been run and like passed on by generations to this guy and I think it's just really important to know and to trace where things are made and then they are black at the bottom versus being a fully white boot. I found that that actually makes it easier to pair back to a lot of my outfits. They are super comfortable and it's true to size. I got these in a size eight, which is my normal size. Everlane did also come out with their re-knit sock boot, which is made out of recycled cotton, I think. The reason that I decided on these ones instead is that they wouldn't do well in like snow, if that makes sense. So I think for my lifestyle and where I live, the boss boot is a bit better, even though I love the way that the re-knit ones look. That concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. I'd highly recommend checking out Everlane, especially for your holiday shopping, whether it's gifts or it's for yourself. It's so much better than buying from traditional fast fashion like Zara or H&M, not only because of the way that the clothes are made, um, but it's also really exciting that the price point is also very similar when it's so much better in terms of what you're getting in terms of the value value, the style, and how things are made. I just hope you guys found it helpful because I really want to show the alternatives to traditional fast fashion retail, especially when it comes to the holidays because I think that it is the biggest time for spending in the year. So if people are more aware of the alternatives that are out there, like if you go to Zara and buy a sweater, like this Everlane one is so much better of an option because of the sustainable material, because of how things are made. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you check out some of these items from Everlane, especially the sustainable line for your holiday shopping, whether that's for your friends and family or for yourself. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.
wanted to quickly come on here to wrap up this video because I had this extra footage that we shot outside of this outfit. It's so easy to pull together these basics. So I loved how easy and everyday this look is. It's honestly something that I would wear to work most days. It's super comfy and the puffer just makes it super easy if there's like a snowstorm outside. I just wanted to quickly mention the Everlane Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. I wanted to upload this video before this crazy weekend to give you guys a better sense of things that you might have your eye on. For Black Friday, Everlane is actually partnering with Oceana to put an end to single-use plastic. So for every order, they're donating $10 with the goal of raising $300,000 this year. I love this so much because on Black Fridays, people are always looking for deals and for promos, but I love that Everlane is focused on giving back. They're also going to have a few items go on sale for Cyber Monday, so stick around for that if you're looking for actual discounts. But I just love that in the wake of all of these promos and deals that are getting you to shop, Everlane is choosing to donate and to support this cause instead of kind of pushing you to buy more because they're offering discounts. But as always, just focus on being conscious and if you're being intentional and you know that you're gonna love something or you know you're buying something for someone else who's gonna love it and appreciate it, I think that's what matters at the end of the day. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I worked super hard on it. All of my measurements will be down below if you're looking for more sizing help to give you an idea of what sizes work. And I hope this has been a helpful video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and please follow me on Instagram at inspiro if you haven't yet. That would make my day. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys.